Darwin, sadly, was very badly interpreted. It was partly his own fault. Most people, if you ask about Darwin's theory of evolution by means of natural selection and the survival of the fittest, automatically think of the struggle for survival and the survival of the fittest, and that the fittest therefore rule supreme. Darwin actually didn't say that. <laughs> what Darwin said was, the fittest are the fittest, those best fitted to their environment. And it was Herbert Spencer, the philosopher, who came along afterwards and said to Darwin, what do you really mean, Darwin, is um, survival of the fittest. Now, Darwin shook his head, and it took him a long time for him to agree to this, because it wasn't what he was saying. He was saying that those species who were most well-fitted, best fitted to the many different impact energies of the planet, light, heat, um, food, chemistry, physics, the ones that were, became the dominant species in any particular epoch of evolution were those species that were best fitted to all these energies. And also, he said, there are two factors within natural selection. One is what um, a natural selection that we've all been talking about. The other is conditions of existence. When he died in uh, 1882, it was only, um, oh, only about five years, five or six years, before the creator of Neo-Darwinism, who was an amazing man called um, August Weissmann from Freiburg University, he published a paper um, arguing that natural selection was a force sufficient unto itself. Weissmann um, came out with his own theory. He had basically cut Darwin's theory in half. He had cut out Darwin's consideration of the importance of the environment, the crucial importance of the environment, and yet, and he called his theory neo-Darwinism. In fact, he should have called it Weissmannism, because it was only half Darwin's theory. <laughs> and now, you can get top commentators um, the world over uh, who say they're a Darwinist, when in actual fact, it's, it's patently obvious, they are a neo-Darwinist, they are a Weissmannist. <laughs> because we haven't fully appreciated what Darwin said about the environment, uh, we haven't understood the importance of the soil, we haven't understood the importance of food, the importance of water, the quality of all these things, the quality of food, the quality of water, the quality of soil. Um, it has left a huge hole in our culture. Um, and that has been going on for over a hundred years now.